I now give the floor to Mr. Daniel Kanievsky, Deputy Administrator for Resilience, Federal Emergency Management Agency of United States of America. You have the floor, sir. Chair, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, the United States is pleased to participate in the 2019 Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. I'd like to thank the Government of Switzerland and the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction for hosting this important meeting, which demonstrates Switzerland's commitment and leadership in the area of DRR. I also commend all participants for ensuring that the important global agenda of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction continues to move forward. In addition, I'd like to extend our deepest condolences to the people of the United, from the people of the United States to the families of the victims of cyclones Idai and Kenneth in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Malawi. These cyclones and other recent disasters such as the earthquakes and a tsunami in Indonesia and the Fuego volcano in Guatemala have destroyed communities and led to the loss of thousands of lives. And in the United States, massive California wildfires and hurricanes Florence and Michael resulted in billions of dollars in damages. These large-scale events are stark reminders of the need to prioritize disaster risk reduction. The United States has been a strong supporter of Sendai's framework and expected outcomes to reduce the loss of life and the social and economic impacts of disasters, including through assistance. For example, over the past decade, the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID, has alone provided nearly $1.44 billion in DRR funding to more than 100 countries to support key institutions and help communities become more resilient. The United States is equally committed to reducing the risks and impacts of natural disasters in the United States. The U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, is building a culture of preparedness, readying the nation for catastrophic disasters, and simplifying access to disaster resources. FEMA is implementing the 2018 Disaster Recovery Reform Act to enable greater investment in pre-disaster mitigation, support efforts to reduce risk from future disasters, increase state and local capacity to manage disaster recovery, and provide greater flexibility to survivors with disabilities. The United States encourages scientific and technical cooperation by promoting the exchange of data, strengthening multi-hazard early warning systems, enhancing capacity building and DRR. In addition to FEMA and USAID, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the U.S. Geological Survey, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the National Science Foundation, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services also collaborate on disaster risk reduction. The United States remains committed to the common goal of reducing disaster risk and building resilience worldwide. We have made significant progress under previous frameworks, but we have a long work ahead of us. I know that together we can significantly advance the implementation of the Sendai framework. Thank you.